Dinner around the world. Dinner around the world. Focus question: What can be learned about a country on the basis of its cuisine? Introduction: Have you ever wondered where the ingredients of your favorite meal come from? Today, you go. You can go to a store and find corn from Peru, peaches from China, and salmon from Norway, all in one place. Hundreds of years ago, though, people could only eat foods that were naturally available where they lived. People in different regions around the, wor- the world developed their own dishes and styles of cooking called cuisine. Trade and travel then started to influence each region's cuisines, and people were introduced to foods and species from other places. Today, cuisines can vary quite. Very quiet, but even within a country, exploring a country's cuisine can teach you a lot about its culture. Asia, the warm, wet climate from many religions of Asia is perfect from growing rice. Because of it, this rice is a staple in many Asian cuisines. If you sit down for dinner in India, you might see rice, stewed meat or vegetables, and bread called. <coughs> Not on the table. Asia, the warm, wet climate of many religions of Russia, Asia is perfect for growing rice. Because of this, rice is a staple in many Asian cuisines. If you sit down for dinner in India, you might see rice, stewed meat or vegetables, and a bread called naan on the table. In India, meals often include meat such as chicken or lamb, legumes, and yogurt-based sauces. One popular dish is a barani. Rice with meat, onions, and hot spices, topped with raisins, dried apricots, or you'll find rice on the dinner table in a, in an East Asian country like China too. In Southwest China, rice might be served with meat, slightly cooked vegetables, and a mild sweet sauce to keep the natural flavor to the food. Few species are used here. In Southwest China, in the other hand, meat and vegetables are often served with hot, spicy sauces. If you travel to Thailand in Southwest Asia, you might try shrimp in a green curry sauce served with rice for dinner. Curry paste, coconut milk, lemongrass, and garlic are used to flavor many dishes here. Cooks in this region often blend sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and hot flavors together in one dish. Oceania, to the southwest to Thailand in the religion known as Oceania, which includes Australia, because Australia was colonized by Great Britain in the 1700s. Its cuisine includes many of the same foods. Dinner here are me be meat pie. Beef or chicken cooked in a flaky crust and vegetables. People from Thailand and Vietnam have also infused the cuisine, and dishes like curry and stir fry are popular as well. The east of Thailand is Fiji, one of the many small islands that make up Oceania. It's expensive to ship fresh meat here, so canned meat like corned beef is common. Miles of coal mine provide plenty of fish, though. A cassava and taro are used in nearly every dish. Many fruits, including bananas and pineapple, grow well in the country's hot, wet climate. For dinner, you might have cocoda, a dish made of raw fish served with coconut cream and fresh lime juice. Zero. In places with long cold winters like Eastern and Northern Europe. Dinner might look quite different from what you saw in Fiji. Fruits and vegetables only grow for a short time in cooler climates. In Poland, poking fruits and vegetables by putting them in a vinegar or salty, a salty water helps them last through the long winter. Meat is often meat is often dried, smoked, salted, or pickled for winter. Here, dinner might be smoked sausage. Red bread, potatoes, and pickled cabbage. In the warm climate of southern Europe, which is part of a region known as the、uh, Mediter-、uh, Mediterranean, many fruits and vegetables grow. Tomatoes, olives, peppers, lemons, and onions are included in many dishes.
In Italy, pasta alla norma, a popular pasta dish with fried eggplant, tomatoes, garlic, and cheese might be on the dinner menu. Dumplings all around. Sometimes the same dish can be found in many different countries. It just might look a little different from place to place. One example is dumplings. Cooked pieces of dough sometimes wrapped around a sweet or a savory filling. The dough is often made of, of flour or potatoes, and fillings can be a mix of meat, cheese, fruits, vegetables, or nuts. There are more than 140 different kinds of dumplings around the world. Africa. Northern Africa is also in the Mediterranean. A couscous. A couscous. Olives, almonds, dates, and cinnamon are used. In many dishes in Morocco, dried fruits such as figs and、uh, apricots coats added a sweet taste of savory dishes. For example, lamb tagine, a lamb that prone a prone stew cooked in a, a tagine pot, is a popular dish. Moving south to Central Africa, you'll find tomatoes, cassavas, and plantains in many dishes. A traders brought peanuts to this region from Brazil in the 1600s. Now they are used in many sauces mixed with ingredients naturally found in the religions such as yams and okra. One popular dish here is fufu, smashed cassava, a cassava mixed with water to form balls that are dipped in peanut soup. The food of Southern Africa is sometimes called rainbow cuisine because of how deserves it is. Throughout history, the colonizers from France and Nether and the Netherlands, well as well as enslaved peoples from India and Malaysia, influenced the cuisine. A cuisine, ingredients traditionally used by indigenous people of the area, <coughs> like the jollof, are still popular too. These include potatoes, leafy vegetables, corn, and beans. In the country of South Africa, the one common dish is boba tea, a mix of meat, dried fruits, and nuts topped with eggs and milk. South America, across the Atlantic Ocean, is a large South American country of Brazil. The cuisine is equally diverse, along with the indigenous people of the region, colonizers from. Portugal and enslaved peoples from West Africa shaped the cuisine here over time. Black beans, rice, peppers, and fruits such as mangoes and papayas are common ingredients. For dinner, you might have a stew of black beans, pork, and beef served with rice. In the northern country of Peru, coastlines, rainforests, and mountains provide a deserved landscape to grow many fruits, grains, and vegetables. Peppers, corns, tomatoes, plantains, mangoes, avocados, and potatoes are just a few of the many crops grown here. A ceviche, raw fish served with fresh lemon or lime juice, is a popular dinner dish. A world of food in the United States. The cuisine of the United States is just as varied as the cuisine of any other country. The diverse landscapes and climates across the country help shape the cuisine in different re- regions. Throughout history, native peoples enslaved people from Africa, Colon-、uh, colonizers from Europe, and immigrants of all the world have also fueled religion cuisines. Mexican cooking influenced cuisine in southwest, southwestern states like Arizona and Texas. French, African, Spanish, and Caribbean cooking shaped cuisine in the south. The cuisine in Hawaii was influenced by Japanese. A Filipino, Korean, Chinese, Portuguese, and Polynesian recipes and cook, cooking methods. Today, you can find dishes from just about every country in the United States. Conclusion: Today, many food today foods from a particular country can often be found all over the world. You might see a French restaurant in China, an Ethiopian restaurant in Brazil, or an Italian restaurant in Australia. Discovering new foods is like visiting another country for a couple of year hours. A country's cuisine can help you learn about his history, its history, cultural landscape, and even weather. Trying new foods and flavors from different places can be fun. Maybe you will find a new favorite dish.